your blessings, domination, I'm amazing. We just trying to make it to the top. We can slick, spin those loops. I had a pussy try to kill me, bitch, I'm breathing blessings. Soldiers stand up in the paint, tragic storms test me. I had a brother, well, another solid snake by a leg, but the money still straight. I appreciate it. Oh, we just want the money. Nigga, we just want the money. Oh, we just want the money. Nigga, we just want the money. Oh, we just want the money. My name is Shell G, man, and we're back with another video. And what we do here is we solve community crimes, community issues. That's murders, trap houses, missing teens, adults, your grandmother's house, your cousins, and their cousins as well. And today what we're going to be discussing is an alleged attempted robbery gone bad, which has left many of the community members concerned. After a gaming business, also known as a gambling hall, the customers and local neighbors watched bullets claim a man life by two shooters and left without money. But in the video, you will see that I'm showing you every step that this woman here takes. But in the video, you will see a young lady walking back and forth texting someone. You will also see a woman exiting and uh, entering the vehicle. Allegedly, the driver of this truck then occupied by a guy named Fat Boy. Allegedly, this young lady goes by the name of Bree Douglas on Facebook. On the 700 block of Edgewood Avenue, located in the west side area of Paxson. Unfortunately, there has been no suspects arrested for this case. And since a dead man can't talk, it's very important that we find the young lady in this video. And who was the second shooter? Sending condolences and prayers to all family members that are affected by such selfish acts. And we will remain and support you guys every step of the way into justice is served. 